Dear all, welcome to my YouTube channel Agri Business A Journey. Today I will describe the how to write abstract for a research paper. I make it so easy. After that, you will not find any queries to to draft a proper research paper and also to write a abstract for research paper. The facts on abstract you need to know about that every abstract should be the concise form of a research paper suppose you are writing a research paper whatever the format are connected with the research paper need to be included in abstract writing it means suppose you are writing a research paper of 10 to 12 pages then your abstract should take the major part of the research paper in such a manner anyone can drive attention if they have the proper understanding on abstract abstract contains 150 to 200 words nowadays it is not it is not a compulsory phenomena to write 150 to 200 words but it is mainly accepted by many of the journals if you are if you are writing words in abstract each within that range some of the journals also concised the abstract writing words up to 100 words it means your writing skill should be so good within 100 words anyone can understand what you have drafted in the complete research paper you may call as the packet of the research paper suppose you all know that research paper has been started on the major heading of abstract then keyword then introduction and then further headings so though it is started from abstract then you can call as the face of the abstract face of the research paper or packet of the research paper numbers of times in many journals you will not find complete research paper for your reading purpose only abstract has been highlighted either online or or if it is a conference paper only in the offline as well so you understand if there will be proper narration or proper narration of the good abstract then it will draw attention for the research paper many a times as a researcher also you just pick the major point from the abstract and keep it as citation in your other research paper so abstract writing is a is a is an art that need to be taken into consideration for all the researchers abstract follows keywords normally it is not the part of the abstract but the importance of the keywords is such that if you write the proper keyword after the abstract then your visibility both in the offline and the online sources will be improved then you should know that what should be the format of the abstract first one to two lines you should highlight why what is the purpose or what is the interest that need to be included in your abstract writing by which researcher or by the reader all will be motivated to go through your main paper or or you can so or you can uh, uh, understand that why i am writing that abstract or why i am doing that proper research suppose just for the example one of the uh, student or one of the researcher may uh, may do the research on marine fisheries in gujarat so suppose first line you have right that gujarat has the largest coastal base of 1600 kilometers as a result the marine fisheries in gujarat always be at its first level across the states it means it highlights that why this particular state has some national interest or national uh, competency in marine fish production second one to two line you have to highlight about the problem statement problem statement means suppose in the complete research 
you are doing the research just like the export scenario of marine fisheries in Gujarat, then simultaneously a problem st statement need to be highlighted in that direction. Then you have to write two to three lines on the materials methods and one to two line on the resultant discussion. And at the end, you have to highlight conclusion and implications. All things need to be included in your abstract writing. And I like to highlight that problem statement to result and discussion. If it will contain minimum 50 to 60 percent of your main body of your abstract, then it is good for us. It means suppose you are writing 10 to 10 lines or 10, uh, 10 lines, then first one to two lines you have to highlight about the purpose of your writing abstract and uh, and the one to two line only on the conclusion and implications and rest things you need to be included in, in the line of problem statement, material methods and result and discussion. Just I am giving an example in the direction. Hopefully it is visible for all of you. It highlight that uh, the first yellow two lines, it is all about that why the potato production uh, is uh, uh, important for the Gujarat and how the cold storage has been uh, helping in the directions. In the last three to four line, it has been highlighted about the concluding statement that come across after the completion of the complete research paper. And rest line has been highlighted in the line of materials methods and resultant discussion. In this way, as a researcher, you can draft your complete research paper and its abstract. So abstract writing need to be understood properly because a proper research paper should have a very good abstract writing skills and if you have properly, you will drafted the abstract, it will definitely drive attention of the all the readers who are going through your research paper. Thank you all. Thank you for watching my video.